that it is forever, we shall always fight for our right. You say it's inconsequential, yet you cannot sleep with two eyes closed. Let us now notify you, your nightmares will be long at the Kinga. We win this election. Nigerians, keep watching this video to see how the governor of Muzozima back on no militias government operating in the state. Mixture of no river courtists, river state courtists, mm -hmm. members of the Ebubiago network, men from the Imo state command of the police, and at least one from FIB Abuja. That is the track squad, the crack squad that governor Obu Sodima put together with the knowledge of the commissioner of police Imo state to execute Ikenga. We must notify the world now that the opposition has approached the court to seek orders of court to restrain Imo state government from fabricating charges against him. This step was taken upon receiving information that the Imo state government has procured a magistrate who is willing to grant remand orders against Ikenga so that it can be put away until after the election and also harmed in detention and claimed that he was involved in a failed escape beat or he was attacked by fellow detainees. Ikenga was once arrested and poisoned. We must not forget that in this country. He was once arrested and poisoned and uh, it took God's intervention for him to be healed. Nigeria is a constitutional democracy. Obu Sondima is under oath to protect the Imo citizens, including those of, in opposition. He has no right to target any of them to be killed merely for holding contrary political views. The commissioner of police, Imo State, cannot and does not have the right, acting as an agent of the, to the governor of Imo State, or China when they coordinate an attack on the law about this citizen targeted as executing such a citizen. The full test of the promise of the Inspector General of Police for safe environment to conduct elections and the pledge of the National Security Advisor to dislodge all militias operating in the state is in what they both do to the madness going on in Imo State. This Ikenga case is a test case, and we will draw all other inferences from this case. If we were to if we were not able to obtain these footages, nobody would have believed our story. But now the video evidence is available. We have been right all along. The Attorney General of Imo State, we are, you are again fabricating these charges. You have refused to perform your official and professional duty to the state government. It is professional misconduct not to advise them appropriately. We know that the legal practitioners and disciplinary committee will be interested in yet another trial of the allegations of misconduct against you. That is, if you are not finally debarred from the current trial. Every one of you should get it clear. Ikenga is a soldier of democracy and rule of law for over two decades. He cannot stop now. And you cannot stop him. It is not solely about elections into the House of Representatives, but this is a path he has been assigned by his creator to fight for the common man. You cannot stop him. How the vehicle, how the vehicle which conveyed explosives You can see that one there. The, the car which conveyed explosives used to attack his house in January moved from Uweri. He has then raised concerns about how that vehicle conveyed men and bombs from Uweri to Idiato without being stopped by the multiple checkpoints on that route. It is now becoming obvious that the said vehicle was not stopped.